You can use your smartphone, whether it's iPhone or Android, as a webcam on your PC or Mac. Now I'm gonna be using an iPhone with a MacBook. I'm gonna show you how this is done. Stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna show you a bonus app where you can start using filters for free. So let's go ahead and just jump to the App Store. and I'm gonna type in here, I-R-I-U-N, Irian Webcam. This is the, I've tried a few. I'm gonna show you some bonus apps. This is the one that you wanna try out. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. Now you need to have the companion app installed in your computer. Let's go ahead and install the companion app for this. Just go ahead and type in I-R-I-U-N and it should come up, irian.com. And then you can download the driver for Mac, Windows or Ubuntu. I'm gonna go ahead and download the driver for my Mac and it's so easy. I'm gonna go ahead and install it, license agreements. And then that just installs as driver so you can yeah. use it on your web application. So I'm gonna go ahead and open google.meet.com or you can do Zoom or whatever you're using, Microsoft Teams. I'm gonna go ahead and start a new application or new meeting, web meeting. So go ahead and do an instant meeting. What you need is you need your cable. Go ahead and connect your phone to your computer. Here we go. So I'm gonna connect this up. Let's go. So it says that it's waiting for connection. It should start looking for the connection. Go ahead and trust the computer. I've just connected this to the phone and it says trusted device. So I'm gonna go ahead, trust and device. Make sure your smartphone and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. And then it should go ahead and start looking for your device. If it doesn't pick it up, all you wanna do is just go to the settings and then go to the video settings of your web conferencing app and then select the import. So in this case, Arian webcam, and then it should pick it up automatically. Here we go. Okay, a couple of features for the app. This is why it's so amazing and it's absolutely free as well. You can use the front facing camera and when you do that, you'll see a feed of yourself on your smartphone, which is fantastic. Now, even better, if you do use the rear facing camera, which is a better quality camera, you can also use the flash. There's a little flash symbol. Go ahead and press that and the flash is on. So I can now start using my flash as well as the webcam, the back camera, which is far better quality. Um, for this setup. I've got a little stand here. I'm gonna show you the stand, desktop stand. I'm gonna put my phone on top of this stand and then I can put it behind my computer. So here we go, I'm gonna clip this. I'm gonna use the rear facing camera. So let's spin this around, make sure my flash is on. Okay, now I've got my setup with my iPhone as my webcam using the flash from the iPhone. It's far better quality and I'm streaming it straight off of Google Meet. So if you're out there trying to impress your colleagues or you need to teach HD content, then go ahead and use your smartphone for absolutely free with this app. And if you need filters, then stick around. I'll show you the second app. So the bonus app for free filters is gonna be Epoch Cam. Go ahead and download Epoch Cam and I'll show you how this works. This also has a companion app for your computer. So go ahead and download that from elgato.com. So just scroll down from elgato.com and you'll find the app that you're looking for. So we'll jump straight back onto our video conferencing call. This time we're gonna select Epoch Cam from the settings. At the same time, we'll open up the app on our phone. Make sure to connect the, the cable. So we'll go to settings, go to video, and we're gonna choose from here the Epoch Cam. And then this should load up the Epoch Cam. And whether you use the selfie cam or the back facing camera, you could go ahead and use the filters. Check out these filters and these are absolutely free as well. So I can go ahead and use a blurry background. So here we go, I'm just in focus, everything gets blurred out. You can use a green screen. You can use different filters, uh, like flower, invert, Nemo, paint. But there's one special one here that is breaking news. Breaking news. Upgrade your webcaming experience by using these free apps. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.